Hi, this is Tom Wheelwright, author of Tax-Free Wealth and CEO of WealthAbility. Let's talk about the bad news because there's no good news, but the bad news when it comes to small family-owned businesses, okay? Now, Joe Biden believes that small business means anybody under $400,000. We all know that's not true. There are a lot of small businesses that happen to be successful businesses. So basically what he's saying is unsuccessful businesses are not going to pay additional tax, but successful businesses, no matter how small they are, even one person are going to be paying a much greater tax rate. And let's look at just how big that could be. Let's start with something pretty minor. Let's talk about if you have a partnership, lo a loss, because your partnership investment is worthless. So a partnership used to be an ordinary loss. Now it is a capital loss. Why is that important? Because capital losses can only offset capital gains. So an ordinary loss can offset anything. So that's actually a really, it's a big deal if you have a loss. If you don't have a loss, great. But if you do, this is a, actually a pretty major change. Number two, this is huge. It's section 1202, which excluded up to $10 million of gain. You make over 400,000, guess what? It's only 50%, it goes down to 50%. So basically cutting the 1202 tax benefit in half, back to 50%, which it was a long time ago, but it's been at 100% for quite some time. Number three, The QBI deduction, which is normally thought of as the 20% deduction, right, for pass-through entities like sole proprietorships, partnerships, and S-corporations, used to be that you had unlimited, as long as you weren't an accountant, an attorney, et cetera, but if you are a regular, uh, uh, some other non-service business, you got a qualified business income deduction of 20%. Okay, that was to make, you know, because the corp corporates, the, the corporations got these huge benefits going from 35% down to 21%. This was to kind of help modify that. Guess what? $500,000 limit. So no matter what kind of business you are, over $500,000, you're not going to get the QBI. And in fact, it, we don't know how this is going to be written, but it may phase out completely. You may not get it at all if you're over $500,000. So this is definitely a punishment for successful small businesses. Now, of course, corporate tax rate, still 21%, up to $5 million. So we might be thinking about, do we want to be a C corporation instead of a pass-through entity? That's a subject of a different um, video when we talk about planning for these things. I just want to tell you what they are right now. There's one more big, big one. What we call the net investment income tax, or some people think of as the Medicare tax on investment income is now going to apply. You got it. It's going to apply to pass through business income over 500,000. So when you add that to a tax increase, from 33% to 39.6% potentially, that big of a tax increase, and you add in these, this is a serious attack on small business. And if you're a small business owner, you're a family-owned business that's successful, might be time to talk to your legislator, um, particularly, <laughs> particularly if they're on the, the Democratic side, because the Republicans, frankly, don't have a voice in this. And um, it's the Democrats that are going to make any changes to this are going to come from the um, legislators, meaning uh, congressmen and women in, um, or senators that are on the Democratic side. So um, if you're concerned about any of this, give them a call.